One of the most important cavalry bases in northern Britain was built at Ribchester near modern Preston in 70 AD. And currently, archaeologists are uncovering new clues about who those cavalry men actually were. Since 2015, a team from the University of Central Lancashire has been running this new dig at Ribchester. Much of the fort now lies under the modern village, so the team has opened a trench in a back garden. They've revealed a number of the cavalry fort's buildings and are beginning to understand the fort's layout. But they're also starting to find small clues that can tell them more about where the men who lived here came from. DIG co-director Duncan Sayer is examining an intriguing piece of pottery the team has found. Under this bucket, we have a vaulting tube. This would have been a much larger object that comes around out here somewhere. It has a tube on one end, and then it has a socket on the other. And you can see on this here, it just has a slightly more of a curve on this side than it does on this side. And so when you put lots and lots and lots and lots of those together, then it creates an arch. What's quite nice about this is these things are seen only in North Africa and at Chester's Roman fort. Uh, and that's really interesting because the Spanish cavalry came here first and then they moved on to Chester's. And so somewhere there would be these gently domed buildings, which is I think quite nice. And we have looked really quite exotic and even out of place in rural Lancashire. This fort was first manned by a Spanish cavalry regiment who must have brought this exotic architecture with them. Cavalrymen were recruited from conquered tribes across the Roman Empire, from places like France, Spain, the Netherlands, Eastern Europe, Syria and North Africa. But as well as finding clues about who these men were, the team is also finding incredible personal artefacts that give us a glimpse into daily life here. While they take a break, Duncan Sayer is meeting fine specialist Justine Biddle to examine some of the most recently discovered objects. What is this, Justine? So this is um, what's known as a terret ring that would be part of our horse's bridle fitting. OK, so where so would that fit around the It would go the um, on the cheek. That's all there. Yeah, exactly <laughs> okay, there. Okay. And you'd have one, one part of the reins would be going, or one part of the harness would be going back towards the head and holding the, the harness in position. That's really interesting. So it really gives us yeah. that, that evidence of, of, of ridden horses. No, no, absolutely. In Ribchester, which is yeah. what you'd expect, isn't it? Yeah, no, That's exactly. Great. And then one of the best pieces of dating evidence on a Roman site is just the expect to find loads of coins, especially in military sites. It's a silver denarius of the Emperor Vespasian. There it is. Um, it's got a dolphin and an anchor on the reverse side of it, and that was minted between 79 and 89 AD. Probably comes over and is lost in the, from the pocket or from the, the pouch of a Roman yeah. cavalry soldier. Yeah, almost certainly. He'd have been a bit annoyed about losing that. He would have been really cross about losing that. That's quite a lot of money that's just fallen into the ditch. <laughs> 